Thanks, we're over at the Omron stand now, and joining me is marketing manager Stuart to talk us through about, well, some of these wonderful machines behind us. Thanks so much for joining us. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, hello, everybody. Uh, it's fantastic to be here again this year. Um, we're really excited to show off some of our fantastic technology to everyone. Um, so what we have over here is we have, um, we have a collaborative robotic uh, application looking at feeding uh, packaging materials into, uh, into various different uh, production scenarios. So the, 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 the primary uh, objective here is to achieve high mix and low volume production. So you get a wide variety of different types of products without having to mess around with having people putting loads of different types of stuff in. So it's a really, really good um, time saver, really good for um, replacing those labor shortages that still plague us throughout the industry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're hearing a lot about this, uh, uh, staff shortages. Um, is it something that you've noticed as well? And are, there, are some of your machines really helping that? Oh, absolutely. We still see it probably as the biggest issue in UK manufacturing at the moment. So, um, you know, the, 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 the reality is the post-pandemic economy hasn't picked up anywhere nearly as fast as we would have liked. But it's, uh, the, 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 there is a really, really viable solution here with the cost of automation in terms of return on investment is starting to come down. Yeah, the time really is now to start investing in this type of technology. Brilliant. And yeah, I mean, we've, we've looked at one here and this is a lovely, slow, precise. I mean, I could watch this all day. It's quite therapeutic, isn't it? Um, but what about this one behind us here? What's this one doing? Well, you say the word therapeutic and that's exactly the word I used to describe this one. Okay. So, uh, so this is a very, very high speed pick and place machine. So uh, it's currently operating at quite a low speed. Um, but what we also have is the, um, the platform that the game is sat on also, also moves, so it synchronizes with uh, our linear motion. So if I, um, if I look and speed it up a little bit. Oh, yes, please. Yeah, let's see this sped up. Um, oh, you're right, this one's quite therapeutic as well. And I assume it's not just uh, metal marbles that can go in here, there's all sorts that can go in. Of course, yeah, so. All right, oh, well, here we go, here we go. I love that the lights change as well. Is that just aesthetically, aesthetically pleasing? Absolutely. So uh, it's ju ju just just for effect, but you can see, you know, we're we're going we're going pretty quickly here. But you know, this the, the, this robot itself will, uh, will will pick up to 300 parts a minute. So it's uh, it, ca it, it can go very very fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and absolutely, like you said, um, for, for efficiency, for that staff shortage, it really is going to make a big difference. Absolutely, absolutely. We think it, we, it, 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 these are the kind of game changing technologies that are now out there. Amazing. Uh, so we're here. Let's, let's, let's come back onto your stand for a moment. Um, I can see a little robot behind me wandering around the yeah. stand as well. Uh, what's that one up to? This is, uh, the, the, this is one of our mobile robots. Um, it's the smallest of the fleet, um, but essentially it, it, it's a simple, uh, simple device that can carry things from point to point. So, um, so we can carry loads anywhere from small boxes up to ton and a half pallets. So, you know, a huge variety of, um, of different things that we can, uh, we can transport. And, you know, when, when we look at labor shortages again, the number of times people are off sick because they've got bad back, because they're pulling heavy pallets along or lifting heavy loads, this takes so much of that strain away from workers, which actually means that the, that, that time lost from an already depleted workforce due to sickness is massively reduced. So it's a really, really positive uh, impact on manufacturing. Brilliant. And actually that, that manpower then can be taken elsewhere and put into productivity rather than, like you say, off the sickness. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, you know, the, 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 there's often a myth around um, robots are taping, taking people's jobs. But the reality is they're actually creating newer, better, um, more satisfying jobs for people than kind of just manually picking and placing stuff. So you know, the overall impact is really, really positive. It's really exciting. Hopefully it's like, oh, here it is. Oh. Here he comes through, he's Omron, oh he's cool, he's doing his little uh, journey, taking things from place to place. I love that, literally don't get in his way. Um, I also love that we're personifying them as well, which is great, because they are little humans, aren't they? Um, so, last question for you, because I know you're super busy and you've got lots to do today. Um, why is it important for you and Omron to be here at PPMA? We see the PPMA as our, as our flagship exhibition in the UK. It's, uh, it's an absolutely fantastic opportunity to engage with what we believe is the most important market sector in the UK in terms of the food and beverage market. You know, it, it really aligns well with our corporate philosophy of improving lives and being able to provide automated solutions to keep our people fed. Um, you know, it, it, does, it doesn't get more uh, society growing than that. So uh, yeah, it's, it, it's a fantastic place to be. Amazing. Stuart, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us today. Really appreciate it. Uh, come and check out the Omron stand if you want to come and see some of these wonderful machines. And thanks again to our sponsors, Mark and Mamage.